Hello friends and happy December 1st and welcome to the first day of Vlogmas for 2019. I can hardly believe it's already December and I can hardly believe that I'm up at 9.42 on a Sunday ready to film. But uh, I have some videos to film. Um, the announcement video is going up today for my new series, the 2020 Creative Reset series. If you guys have not seen that yet, I'll have it linked down below since this is going up on December 2nd. Um, so that's already out. Go check it out. Um, and I'm really excited for it. So hopefully you guys are too. But I have my tripod here to go do that. And if you're new to Vlogmas and have not been here before or have not watched Vlogmas before, essentially I'll be filming every day December 20. December 20, December 1st through 25th, and then uploading every day after that. So December 1st video will go up on December 2nd, December 25th video, so Christmas will go up December 26th. Um, and I'm really excited to share that with you guys. Um, it's really, really fun. I do lots of fun things. Today's plan, however, is we're going to go to some stores. Now, we already did our Black Friday shopping. Um, we went actually out on Thanksgiving, which we didn't plan on doing, but it was just the two of us, and we thought, why not go see what the crowds are like? We did that. We did Black Friday shopping. We did go out yesterday as well. Um, we also saw a bunch of movies, so I'll probably talk about that a little bit, at least in my monthly favorites video that I also should film today. So we'll see if that happens. Face-to-face -face videos are my favorite to film, but I do really like having those on my channel because it offers a bit more about me and my personality and that kind of stuff. So I have my filming lights on, which is why the lighting looks pretty good in here. Um, it's still pretty bright outside, but having light behind me coming in and in front of me is a little bit too much for the face-to-face -face filming. So. Um, my desk is currently a wreck, um, an absolute wreck. Um, so I think I'm just going to try to crop that out of anything that I do film today so that I don't have to show you guys the mess. But I want to sit down and do the announcement video that's going up today and then I'll edit it and upload that so it's ready to go. And then we'll probably head out a little bit later to go do some more shopping. So that'll be exciting. So this was actually the setup that I just did for my 2020 Creative Reset announcement video. So if this looks very similar, that's why I didn't move my tripod. But I did want to tell you guys that I actually scripted out this video this time. Um, I've talked before how I don't script my videos, but I thought for an announcement video, I might try to do a scripted one. That was a train wreck. Um, I don't know how people do scripted ones unless they maybe print it and put it up somewhere, but this just made it worse for me, I think. Um, maybe a bullet point version would have been better, but like I wrote out everything I wanted to say. So you can see here, um, which is quite a bit. Um, I think I did get everything in there that I needed, but I definitely have to cut it apart a ton, which I need to go edit this. Um, it won't be up at 11 like I originally wanted because I was being a bit lazy this morning, just laying on the couch, but I think we got everything in there. It's going to be like a three minute video though, which I think is kind of, I don't like doing short videos, but it's, I like the announcement videos because it helps get people excited for what's upcoming for my channel. So hopefully you guys are excited for that too. And if you haven't checked it out yet, I'll have that link down below so you guys can check it out. Um, but I'm really, really excited um, to do that. So I'm going to go edit that probably in the living room. And if you guys don't know, I have these box lights, which I've shown in previous vlogmases and probably craft room tour videos, but they get, it gets so hot in here because of them. So, I mean, I have my water, but usually I have my fan in here, which I forgot to bring in this time. So I guess I'm going to go edit and then might check in with you there, or at least do some clips of that. And hopefully we'll be going to the store after that. Let's see. No, it'll probably be after lunchtime by that time. So, um, and in case any of you are wondering, this video, it's only like six minutes of footage. It'll probably only take me about 20 minutes to edit it. And then the upload will take a little bit longer, maybe five minutes to get everything right, um, to get it to upload. And then I have to edit all the text in my description box and the posting and the title and all that stuff. So I have to do that. But after that, then we'll be going out to go shopping and I will be bringing you guys along with us. So that should be fun. So I'm going to go sit down and edit and then I'll catch up with you guys over there. So it's actually much, much later now, and I'm actually heading out Tuesday morning. We decided not to go to the other stores that we were going to check out, and we'll just look online for more deals. Cyber Monday's coming up, so we might as well see what's happening then, too. If you guys didn't know, I actually have a Crafty Sales post on my blog all the time, and I update that weekly for new sales across the Crafty Internet. Um, and definitely check that out for Cyber Monday if you're watching this on December 2nd, so Monday. Um, and check it after that if you're still looking for some crafty things on sale because I try to up that, if update that frequently as possible. So check that out. But right now we're going to head to Tuesday morning and I'm going to bring you guys along with me. 
Looks like we have the craft aisle to ourselves today. Now, last time I did a Tuesday morning walkthrough, you guys really wanted to see everything. So again, this is the main aisle for the craft supplies and there's a couple end caps, but I'm gonna try to show you guys as much as I can um, and then show you guys what I get afterwards. I do have to pick up a couple gifts here as well. So we'll see what I find. They have lots of yarn and fabrics here for quilts as well. A couple craft kits. Cute. Some storage options, some charms if you're into that for your mini albums or your so some Tim Holtz pieces here. Some nice tweezers, scissors, hole punches. He's got some twine back there. Looks like some Prima tape 250 some other washi tapes up here a couple different colors i have a couple of these and i really like the american crafts washi tape we have some bow bunny glitter paste which i think i've been wanting to try then don't forget to look at the top shelf as well there's a lot of storage items up there some gina k adhesive i've never seen gina k with thermo up here before these are some old but goodies mr huey's Color miss. Vicky Boot and Blending Sponge. Some acrylic paints if you're into mixed media. Maybe some of these would be good. Stocking stuffers for someone. Storage containers. Some adhesives over here. Glue gun. And then again, more yarn. Lots and lots of yarn. Then we move into some of the um, writing and drawing pieces. They've always had a ton of these markers. Now I hear people have tried these. Um, I would look up some reviews, but I hear they're okay. Looks like we got some sketchbooks down here, drawing sets, um, canvas panels, big thing of gesso here. Wonder if that's a good brand, $7. We've got some Vicky Boot and Gesso, littler container here, $3. And then this is cream wax. I'm not sure what that is, but paint brushes, some pretty, pretty pencils. Bigger set of alcohol markers from that same brand. Lots of blending, some Spectrum Noir, metallics. Looks like they might have some other types of colors back there. Some American Crafts blenders, just regular pens, Prismacolor drawing. Oh dear, that's an issue. I'm gonna go fix that. It just fell out of its packaging. Some different American Crafts, EK Success, Kelly Creates, some Marvy. All these different markers to try out. If you're looking for something new, maybe one of these is good. We have a We Are Memory Keepers pom -com, pom pom kit over here. Interesting. Some tablets to practice your hand lettering. Different types, grid, etc. Looks like they have some Bristol paper, which is supposed to be pretty good for coloring. Um, let's see, this is 15 sheets for $6. I think you can get a better deal on the bulk packs at Michael's, but they got some sketch art books, some other type of paper down here. 9 by 12 sketch paper. There's also some more canvases down here. Um, yeah, by the way, I did not fix these markers. I just put them back in, but the seal's broken, so they don't go back in, so I just set them there. But we've got some wooden stamps. These are some Christmas ones from Hero Arts. If it will focus, $4.99. Cute stuff. Little kitty cat. This is some Martha Stewart paint, which looks like it needs to be mixed quite a bit. These, I have these. No, I don't. I don't have these colored ones, but I like these um, liners when I do use the black ones that I have. Um, and these are Spectrum Noir. I like their liners. A bunch of those. Some more different stamps from Hero Arts back here. $5 for those. And then some sequin mixes in these metal containers. $2.29. Not sure what the brand is on those. Acrylic paints, brushes. They have some of these metallic watercolor sets that go with some colored pencils, which I think are interesting. Then we have a couple more things over here. Gel pens, some detail brushes, some palettes, this tool to cut out cards for your project life, 
stamp blocks. Brush washer, more acrylic brushes. Stamp dine emboss kit. Very interesting. Some punch tool board. We got a calendar, this is actually really cute. $2.99, I might have to get this. I've been wanting to make a calendar, a flip through like calendars for gifts for 2020. That might be the best option. That's really, really cute. We'll think about getting that. We have some alphabet sets up here. Some DIY ornament kits. Project Life, now I know a lot of people are still looking for these. We got some Heidi Swap, Neapolitan. There's this $20 really heavy thing. B plates bundle. This might be for the cuddle bug. It has been opened. Let's see. Yep. So it looks like it's the long bundles for the cuddle bug. So you get the B plates with a spacer. That's interesting that they have these here. I'll have to close that afterwards as well. We have some cardstock packs. These big ones are $8, and then these smaller ones are five. Happy planner sets, card sets. Small project life sets. These ones are five. Ooh, page protectors. Eight by eight's not my go-to, and I do have a pack of eight by eight already at home. Um, this is a chipboard set for $1.99. We've got some different mixed media things over here. Some burlap, some wood. And then the books up here as well, which are interesting. And then all of the vinyl. Got a couple roller dates and roller phrases. Schmel, your Lizzie back there. Recollections, Project Life, something Jen Hadfield back there, which I think is wood veneer. Then we move into the main scrapbooking aisle, which is basically these two sections here. Okay, so I'm just going to kind of do a quick flip through of different things. I'm stopping if I think something's really cute. We got some charms back here. A lot of snow and cocoa has been at Tuesday morning recently. Paper flowers, which I always wonder if those are going to come back into style. Some of the typecast collection, I had those. I really liked them when I did have them. Some Project Life back there. DIY shop. Looks like there's some enamel hearts. Probably also Project Life brand. Some Heidi Swap die cuts. We've got Pebbles, Brad's. Maggie Holmes, Post-its. Say la vie. Acetate, lots of those. Got some more ephemera from Pebbles. Different ones over here. I know it's hard to see guys, it's a little dark back here. And then we got a lot of die cuts. Let's see, My Mind's Eye, and then some Echo Park. This one's full as well. Lots and lots of die cuts. We have some Brad packs from Bow Bunny, different colors of those. Project Life die cuts, wood pieces. Some Jen Hadfield ones back there. I think these are the reprint versions though for Tuesday morning, but I'm not sure how that worked. I just heard other people talking about it. But these ones are pretty. Um, we got some A1 size envelopes, which I don't make cards that size, but that seems like a good deal. Uh, we got some Heidi Swap wood veneer. Again, more of these die cut packs from various brands. A lot of these ones from M&R, don't know what that is, but I've seen those popping up. Heidi Swap letters, we're gonna move those out of the way. Looks like there's some stamp sets back here. Um, and also little, little, I guess stars, enamels, pearls. That's a good deal, $1.59 for those. Stamp and die set, $3.99. Chipboard piece, $1.99. I'm gonna move to this side. Hopefully get a better look. Not really, this is just some, it says leather cord sets. Interesting. And that was the first row. My arms are tired. <laughs> Um, we have some die cut felt. I am looking for some gifts as well, so I'm not grabbing things off the shelf and I won't show you everything because some of this stuff will be gifted. Some wood beer from Snow and Coco. Ooh, these look cute. Move this out of my way. We've got some Sunday afternoon dark wood veneer with a tray, $1.99. A couple of those, some big wood veneers. These, I do not know what they are. Completed size, rose makers. Illustrated Faith, more Heidi Swap, Mementa pieces, Bow Bunny, Bow Bunny, lots of Bow Bunny. Seems to be a Bow Bunny lane. Then we got some themed things. So we got Spider Man, uh, create a card set, create a card set. 
here in their collection. Chamel Glitter Girl. That might be Snow and Coco. Seven Paper. Project Life. American Crafts. More Project Life back there. I'll try to brighten those up so you can see them a little bit better. This is interesting. These are some of the Hero Arts folded cards. So they come with envelopes. Twelve cards for each of three colors. Maybe they don't come with envelopes. But I like those colors. I've never tried those out though. This is a cute stamp set. So let's see, we got some die cuts. We got cars up in here. I'm not sure. Some of these things seem repackaged. Like this is definitely repackaged. It's missing its top. Oh, these aren't repackaged. They're just backwards. So some cards. I feel bad because I do often rearrange my Tuesday morning, but I try to keep things with similar things. So we got some puffy crosses back there there various colors looks like we got some maggie holmes gather stamp set some acetate stars from studio calico all sorts of stuff let's see what's over here goldenrod collection have those lost and found some really old stuff from my mind's eye let's see oh it says 2019 i didn't know they brought that back i thought that was an older collection 3.99 for this embossing and die set What's this one? Something Lane. Willow Lane collection. Oh, these are very... I saw somebody haul these. Man, they're pretty in person. These are some Prima rubber shapes. I have to get those. Oh, those are precious. These are some chipboard pieces. Oh, Auburn Lane. I did want to get that collection, and then I didn't. I don't think I will. It's not really my style. Um, it's very formal. Little Birdie. Pebbles. Some more Prima that go with those puffy stickers. We got some erasers. Glitter Girl, Glitter Girl. A bunch of Glitter Girl back there. And some rhinestones from Jolie's. There they are. House Mouse Designs. I know those are very, very, very popular. Christmas. More of those rubber shapes. Some stickers. Somebody just came down the aisle. I was in, so I had to take a pause. But moving on to this one with some snow and cocoa pieces. Some Tim Holtz back here. Wild at Heart. Crepe paper. Um, more House of Mouse or House House Mouse. That one's cute. Bo Bunny. Some Jen Hadfield. Project Life. Hero Arts. Heidi Swap. Bunch of good stuff. We got some dyes. Journaling cards and card brads oh here's some of these um adhesive patches i'm actually getting patches for my to decorate my suitcase so these are 2.99 i would definitely not use all of them but i really really like the paintbrush down there really cute tim holtz paper house i really love paper house puffy stickers if you haven't tried those out i highly recommend some illustrated faith heidi swap etc okay second one down we got some kits over here, shaker card kits. Um, looks like some of those tag and stamp kits. Some This one might be Jen Hadfield, I'm not 100% sure. Yeah, this one's a tag and stamp kit. And there's another one. Some more Hero Arts. Another My Mind's Eye. Project Life embossing folders. Heidi Swap, lights not included. There's a giant sticker on this side, so I'm not 100% sure what it is. Looks like a Christmas cottage though, really cute. Some stencils, some paper flowers, die set. Oh, those are those really cute Merry Days collection. That's my trick, you guys. You just grab everything right where the <laughs> insert goes in and then you can put it back on a new bag. Simple as that, if you wanna to get to something at Tuesday morning. These are really, really cute. No wonder why everybody's buying them. I'll set those aside for myself. Um, these chipboard buttons are really cute too. There's not a price on them though. Snowflakes, puffy stickers, these little guys from Pebbles, more Merry Days. Not sure what this is. Alphabet stickers, $1.50, white. Paper flowers, those ones are really pretty too. Bobany Brad, some more Jen Hadfield Woodmere. There's a ton of this stuff here. Lots and lots of Woodmere sets. Stamp set. Flowers, Wild at Heart. 
planner stuff and I'm sorry that there's so many people here today guys I hope you guys can't hear them or the copyrighted music playing behind me but there's a lot of it going on it's a really cute set from Tim Holtz some dyes more embossing folders here are its cards the bunny chipboard tags some pretty swaps they love the pink paisley I can't see much else back there more wild at heart what are those those are cute I think that's the same Prima collection but I'm not sure it's just a similar color scheme but very cute I pulled out this stamp set while I was taking a break of talking really cute here our stamp set but I'm gonna put it back I don't need another layering stamp set because I have some I don't use and I thought this was interesting too this if I didn't get it stuck, is a cleaning cloth. I assume similar to the Lawn Fawn one, but it's only $3.99, so check that out if you guys are interested. Then we also have some Project Life mini kits here. Looks like they might all be the same one. Oh, nope, here's this one. I actually had this one and I really, really loved it. It's very glittery though, so beware of that. And then there's also this one, which is the Just My Type. This one is, I can't read that one either. And then there's the same one back there, but I really don't see a title on that one. Hmm. And then this one was the Heidi Swap combo. And there's this shelf. There's these really cute push pins. Got some frames from Project Life, so 12 frames. Big ones in there. Some of these Tonic Craft Perfect 6x6 foiled card blanks and toppers. So some card sets. Got some banner sets from. I'm not sure who made these. Some We Are Memory Keeper stencils that go with their precision press. Fisker stamp set. I don't see a lot of Fiskers here, so that's interesting. Some more banners. Some Martha Stewart stencils. Heidi Swap stencils. Another stencil set, I think. Stencil and mask. Weekly planner. Bow Bunny stencils. Um, we Are Memory Keeper stamp set. That's the little typewriter one. Some mink. Some more stuff here. I'm gonna start flipping through a little bit more quickly because some of the stuff is repeating. Here we have some different stuff, some chipboards, some Heidi Swap Mink. Oh, the pom poms fell. We'll pick those up after. And then some more chipboard letters back there. Here we got some more die cuts. Goldenrod, uh, My Mind's Eye, Snow and Coco, Wood Veneers, Jen Hadfield, Mary Bright, Mary Days. These are the little snow globes and then the puffy stickers and oh they have two shaker sticker sets I didn't even know that this one's got houses and cars in it some more brads and again this is a packed shelf this is the bow bunny noteworthy collection which I actually have that paper pad so I'm kind of interested in those but here's a better look at the shakers there but these are the same ones that I, I have this collection so let's see what I use these kind of like them I'm thinking about it I'll put them up there wait let's see what else we've got more bow bunny American crafts envelopes these are some pretty old Heidi swap pieces stencil hair I wonder what this is so two stencils that's cute a bunch of those and then more Merry Days, some paper clips, more Merry Days, some pebbles, some brads, another mouse house, house mouse, sorry, spellbinder set, hard to get this angle with this glare. Here we've got some envelopes, beautiful handmade flowers, some Jen Hadfield, more of those flowers in different colors, really, really pretty. Down here it looks like we've got some major large letters and then some rhinestone sheets. We've got some different die sets here. Tim Holtz, Sizzix, cute. Some party pieces. We also have these paper pads here. So I'll do some flip throughs of those. This is pretty new. This is the Vicki Booten collection. Mixed media paper pad. Heidi Swap collection, I haven't seen this. This is only $1.99 for 12 papers. Collections I have not seen here in a bit. A bunch of these poinsettia papers from American Crafts. These are the really thin kind. Looks like a stamp set fell in here. Put that back up there so it can stay out of the way. Some DCWV. I always find DCWV here. 
lots and lots of fun paper cuts. Then this way we have some more items. Looks like these must have fallen, so I'll pick these up. Put them gently here. These are my favorite ones, these long sticker packs. I find that these are the best value. And again, I apologize for all the background noise, if you guys can hear that. There's a lot of people here today. These are really pretty thickers, but I won't get these ones. They're not my style for scrapbooking, but they are pretty. Lots and lots of other stencils. These are those self-adhesive ones. Um, I don't think these work well for paper crafting, but lots of options in there if you're interested. And they go way back there, so there's tons of stencils. Got some of these beautiful Magnolia Moments washi tapes. Bobunny stickers, some more Bobunny. Maybe I tried this angle. And again, lots and lots of people here, so lots of background noise. These stickers are falling off their sheet, oh no. Still usable though, guys, so don't be afraid to get them if you really love them. There's that Auburn Lane again. More stickers. It's been a while since I bought thickers, but I think I'm gonna cool it on the alphabets unless there's a really cute one like this. Just kidding, I don't need any more, but those are cute. This Pebble sticker set's so cute too. Uh, looks like we have a pipe cleaners and stickers from Dear Lizzy. Some stickers back here. Oh, some pebbles, some spring stuff. And then some more of those ones which you've already seen. So let's go to this one. I really love these puppy stickers. I really like these ones too, but these are all numbers. A value pack, six sheets for $1.99. Okay, well this one might get my heart because you guys know craft is my favorite and $1.99, that is not a bad deal at all. So I'll set those up here with my noteworthy. $1.50 for these ones. We've got another number set. So if you guys are doing December Daily, maybe one of these number sets would be great. Die and stamp set down there. Craft chipboard, $1.99. Okay, interesting. Oh, it's for the letterpress. I don't know if anyone actually used those that much. I didn't see much of them for a while. Some hidden stamp sets back here. And again, I apologize for the focusing. We're in tight quarters. $2.50 for these planner stamp sets. Some stencils. Really cute. Some sticko letters back here. And then some Echo Park recollections again. These are the, all the states. That'd be really cool for a... Whoa, that's loud. For a class project, is what I was saying. Pebbles back there. Some really old pebbles, it looks like. These ones are really pretty, too. And a little more on the inexpensive side compared to the thickers. These are only 99 cents. That's pretty good for a um, 6x12 sticker sheet nowadays at Tuesday morning. Some other ones back here. Really digging deep. I have this one from Amy Tangerine that I really love. Some Halloween stuff still here. Which one's this? Willow Lane. Wood green. And more numbers. Wow, that was a long one. This one we've got more letterpress envelopes. Puffy stickers, puffy stickers. See, they start to repeat after a little while, and you guys will know that. If you go to your Tuesday morning, you might find some more things. $1.99 for acrylic stamps is not a bad deal at all. These are baby themes, a little bit. Just baby girl, the blocks, you know, those kind of things. But you could use them for other things. Storyline collection from Heidi Swap. Hello Dreamer from Red Crafts. Jelly Bean Soup, that might be the first we've seen of Jelly Bean Soup this trip. Okay, we've got some card sets here from Crate Paper. Tim Holtz. Wood grain, wood grain, bone pieces, metal dipped keys. Well, that's an odd one, I don't know. They are very heavy though, but they are very heavy. Paper clips, more envelopes and cards, more envelopes and cards. That's, looks like that's the rest of these things. So Now we're on to the last layer here in this section. We have one of the light boxes here. It says value kit, $10 includes one backdrop, 70 letters and 30 numbers. That's a good deal if you wanted one of those. We have the curvy cutters here, which make those fun pieces. I did find the other cuddle bug item earlier, which I'm debating about. I don't think I need it because I have an extra pair of B plates, but I know they are discontinuing it. So I'm gonna set these aside because they are quite chunky and in the way. We've got some quilting patterns, I think. Also very in the way. We'll put those back, don't worry. Oh, it looks like something fell. Maybe that's causing an issue here. Okay, we'll set these down. There we go. And then it looks like we have some more issues. There we go. So these Heidi swap things for her letter boards. 
transfer sheets, Martha Stewart, paper stencils, inkjet transfers, and more Heidi Swap, and then some more quilting things back there. Now we're gonna go down and flip through some of these papers. Um, they also have some chipboard back here, which I'm really excited for, because you guys know I love chipboard sheets, but let's start down here. Just take a look. I think what I'll do is put music over this part um, because there seems to be a disagreement happening in the background, but we'll see. I'll talk any, oh, look, I found this. Someone's hiding these. I'm gonna hang it up. Comfort and joy. Hopefully the argument doesn't persist so I can keep chatting with you guys. Glad I brought my water though. I need some water breaks. I've been chatting a storm up and I've had several interferences with my video uh, with people walking down the aisle. Oh, the carousel collection. Oh my God, they have them. They have it. Should I get it? I know everybody was freaking out about this. It is really cute though, guys. I'm gonna take it out. I'm gonna think about it. I also found this stamp set in the papers here. Really cute, but I don't need more stamp sets, even though I might have one with me. <laughs> this one's really pretty. I do not need it. I don't need it. I don't need it. Then up here we have some more. Oh, guys, look at all these chipboard. These ones are $3.99 though. That means they've raised the prices again. Actually, you know what? These ones were printed just for Tuesday morning, I bet, because they look different. Is this not an October afternoon collection? Doesn't it look like that? I don't know which says trick or treat. I'd have to look this one up. These are all $3.99 though. Looks like there's a new price in town. Oh, that's sad. I really like the $2.99 price. So those are pretty new as far as I know. $3.99. I'll go park, it seems. Oh, another Merry Days. I decided not to get the other one. It's not really my style. I've got some cage protector stuff here. I should just work it Tuesday morning. I'm really good at it. They put all of these kits in backwards. 12 pocket pages for $2.99. Some more kits back here. I'm sorry for all the interruptions. I know that music's gonna be um, put in some of these parts because I've had several people come down the aisle talking and talking. And I don't wanna try to talk over people when I'm talking to a camera. Oh, this one's only $1.99, an oldie but a goodie. I'm not into the Halloween stuff anymore though. I got a lot of it when I did my swap. So I don't need much now. So I'll use up that stuff. Almost done with the papers, guys. But I think it's interesting to see them all. Especially if you don't live near Tuesday morning or don't get to one often, it's nice to see which ones are here. I can't believe they have nine by 12 page protectors. I've honestly wanted to try it, but I'm not gonna pay $2 just to put in 10. Looks like this mini mouse stamp set though. So I'm gonna put that off to the side too. So hopefully someone can find a place for that and repackage it. Some more stencils. This paper is from Dear Lizzie, I think maybe. It's again the thin stuff, so it looks like it probably came from Michael's. Cutting mat, $6.99. Interesting. Chipboard. Got some music paper. And then I have this one. I bought it at Joanna's though. Last 12 by 12 set that we're going through today. Hopefully. I don't know if there's anything anywhere else, but. Oh, this one's cute too, but I just don't think I'd use it. I really dislike banner pieces. I have struggled with those a lot, so. 12, 8 by 10 for $2.99. This is a letterpress paper for the We Are Memory Keepers letterpress, I guess. $5.99 for this Hocus Pocus, which is actually empty. It's just the sticker sheet, so the papers must have fallen out. This paper pad has been ripped off. The front has been ripped off of this one. Or the back. Jen Hatfield, Jen Hatfield. 
I have this birthday wishes collection, but the full paper pad, not just this little sheet. Happy days, everything's going forward. I got more stuff shoved in here. 650 for the spellbinder set, which I'm going to hang up. <laughs> Again, I think I should work at Tuesday morning. More pebbles. And then some additional Valentine's Day papers. So those are all the 12 by 12s um, that are over here. It looks like there's another pad down there, but for the most part, this is just notebooks. Um, then we're going to do some traveler's notebook. Oh yeah, there is some traveler's notebook stuff up here. These are $3.99. Um, the glitter one, these ones used to be $2.99. Uh, I bought this one for a friend, but I don't remember how much it was when I bought it here. Cute stuff. Kelly Create stuff is still here. Those are cute as well. $10, which I think is a little overrated. Um, but it depends what you want and what you need to do all of your stuff and your projects. So let's dive into this last bit here. Let's start down in the 6x6 six six maybe. I thought there was a day when these were $1.99, but maybe I'm making that up. Now again, I do not own any 6x6 six six paper. And I don't think I bought too much during Black Friday. Um, what I like to do during Black Friday actually is fill up a cart in one of my favorite online stores. This year I did only One Life Creations because they had a really great sale and some really stuff that I wanted. Um, and I fill it up and then I tell someone, either my boyfriend or my family, say, okay, pick out what you want to buy me from here and this is what I want. So um, then I give them the computer so they can pick out what they want to buy me and, you know, check out easily so they don't have to like fuss with that. Um, I'm trying to pick out things that they don't understand. Sticker books. Vicky Booten's here. This one from American Crafts. Let's see, Vicky Maggie Holmes. Another planner one. Let's see, Amy Tangerine. Paige Evans. I think I want hers next, but again, I have to use up one before I buy another one, I think. Dear Lizzie. Really cute, too. Actually, that might be the next one I go for. So, my sticker book selection here is dwindling. It used to be a lot, lot more. Back to the 6x6. These do not come across. Okay, here's one that's 6x8. Jen Hatfield along the way. This one looks really cute too. $2.99. I have this paper pad. I should probably use more of it. Pocket frames. What is this guy? That's all it says. Interesting. Must be for some sort of kit that I'm not aware of. Okay, then we have some dies and stamps. It down here so you can see it a little bit better. These ones just keep getting away. This one looks like some sort of leaf set. Flowers. ones. And do like holes with kitty cats. Dog. Cute. Some more sets here. Page maps. I didn't know page maps did a collection with spell binders. 2012. Whoa. That's really cool that they have these here. Oh, this is actually pretty good for a whole background stamp. $4.29. It's a very odd price. It's not my style, but it is very cute. I wonder if this is a bunch of old stuff. 2017. That's not too bad, but 2012. Whoa. Remember when we thought the world was going to end in 2012? Funny how things work out. $2.99. Okay, so these are all the stamps that they made specifically for Tuesday morning, I believe. And it looks like we got some different ones back here. It's hard to flip through these. Okay, there's the Auburn Lane one, which I think there's a couple for each collection, but let me move this guy. It's a mini mouse that fell. A couple more things. 3D embossing. Unique 3D embossing folder, $2.79. Interesting. Some more of those custom for Tuesday morning stamp sets. And again, if I had more hands, this would be a lot easier, but working with one hand, to me one thing. I'm surprised the Halloween stuff didn't go on clearance with the rest of the Halloween stuff, like their decorations, they do. Um, I did see like Thanksgiving stuff on clearance in the front, just decorations though. So there's more of these stamp sets back there. The Merry Days is back there, which again is very, very cute. And it's more Halloween looks like. Moving up here, we have some Big of Sizzix dies. Heart, little flower. Sweet treats. Some smaller Sizzix dies. This set. Stamp and dies. Stamp and dies sets are some of my favorites. I've recently gotten into them a bit. With the ones that I have, at least. Some of these are very large, which is pretty. 
pretty good for the price. Lots of different styles here. It's nice to see. <laughs> so perfectly relishing. Guys, you know I love puns. Some Tim Holtz ones. So this is very odd that they just sell the die cut. Like, yes, it's a mason jar, but if you don't have the stamp that matches, it's very odd to me. This one too looks like it's supposed to be one of those doors. Very odd. This is Mr. and Mrs. That's oh, actually a really good deal for Christmas trees, but I really don't like the shapes of these ones. Shame. Got a little dog set. Cat, dog. I can't read this backwards right now. My brain's not working. It looks like some more hero art sets. Oh, this is a really cool one. I've never seen that one. Little clouds. $5.99 as well. Kelly Perky back here. Another one. This one's Hampton Arts. Hero Arts and Kelly Perky again. Clearly Kelly. I can't. I think it's Kelly Perky. Am I wrong? I might be wrong. Don't take it from me, guys. Oh, it's Kelly Perky. That's right. Hexagon set for $4.99. You bet your bottom dollar I'm going to pull that out. That's such a good deal for a coordinating or concentric. What's it called when they stack? Stack die set. We'll go with that. You guys, I'm going to forget about that. I'm going to pause the video and grab that before I forget. Don't worry, guys. I got it out. Now let's keep going with this next section here. Some really beautiful ones. And someone has a squeak toy. So I apologize for that. Um, it sounds like they're having fun with it. Six here. Some clouds for $2.50. That's another great deal. I think I paid $2.50 for my clouds, but they're much smaller. Let's see if we can get a better look at these. So tonic. I've never had tonic dyes, so be interested in trying those, which I just got those hexagon ones, so they do. A little leaf and then some acorn and leaf. These clear stamps. Looks like they're kind of plannery. Try not to knock this over. There we go. More of those uh, man beef stamps. And again, sorry I'm so close. These are just very tight quarters. Stamp and stencil set here with Hampton Arts, which it's missing the stamp, so it's just a stencil. My mind's eye. Stamp sets. These ones for my mind's eye as well. Let's try maybe. These shelves are getting too tall for me. And my hands are just in the way. I'm just trying to grab one thing at a time. Another die set here. Looks like this one's stamp and die behind it. Yeah. And then some Echo Park stamps. $5 is really good for those as well. I keep grabbing multiple things. Guys, this is much harder than it looks. So people who vlog all the time, props to them. My arms are tired. <laughs> okay, then we have this Spellbinder series. Maybe it's just easier if I move them all. I thought about getting this one. I thought it was a great deal. And again, Hero Arts is a great company. $4.99, but I don't do much with angels, but it's really cute. Maybe I will get it. I'm feeling in a spendy mood. The squeak toy is back. Some swirly die cuts. Oh, exhale. That's a Jane Davenport stamp set. I haven't seen that before. Guys, I can't take it with this squeak toy someone has. And I hope you guys can hear it, otherwise I'll sound like a crazy person. That's a really pretty die. My machine does not do well with, um, oh, this is a great stamp set. Uh, my machine does not do well with detailed ones, but this is a great, I already have a script stamp set, but this is really, really great if you guys don't have one. For $3.99, great price. More Kelly Perky, which you guys can't see because I dropped something else in the way. Oh my God, I was just looking at this stamp set online. That is so funny. So you make a bouquet of flowers with it. Guys, I'm fighting these stamp sets here to get a good shot. And then some more Hero Arts ones back here. Oh, guys, I just put this on my Amazon wish list for much cheaper. Actually, I think this was at only one like creations. I think I did get it. Maybe I didn't. I put it on my list at the very least somewhere. But we'll see if I get it for Christmas. A good price here. You know what you could also do? You could take your husband or your child to Tuesday morning, fill up a cart, and then tell them to pick out of that what they want to buy you for Christmas. It's a great way to still get a surprise but also not spend, you know, more money on craft supplies if that's something you can't be doing right now from budgeting or another stance. Oops, I need to pick that up. It was an empty container, very odd. Some more stamp sets. I love the Bow Bunny stamp sets that I've gotten from here so far. I bought a snowflake one, which I haven't used, but I have used the polka dot one I got. So definitely check those out if you have not already. This one's just, they're just it's hard to do one-handed. And I hope I'm not making any of you dizzy. 
but I promise I'm not trying to. It's just difficult to do all this in tight quarters. These are all bow bunny going back, so I'm not gonna show you guys all of them. Someone else is just right next to me in the aisle, so this is awkward to be filming, but that's okay. We're just going to look through these in my mind's eye. This is the last peg, though, guys. Then we'll check out the clearance in the end caps. But I believe these sort of sets here, these double sets, are printed just for Tuesday morning, but I'm not 100% sure. But my Tuesday morning has a ton of selection, and I have a ton of items that I've pulled out to go through to see what I want. But let's go check out the end caps to see what they have there before we head out. They have a little Tim Holtz section here at this end cap with some letterpress plates as well and then some organization stuff. Then around the corner here they have the clearance section, which I didn't find anything super cool in here. Some Heidi Swap stamp sets, um, some modeling paper, some actually screen ink, which I forgot she made that. Stickers, a couple stamp sets though, um, and some stencils. Lots actually stencils. There's a couple bits down here too. Um, but cute stuff. It looks like this is the last crafty related end cap here. All we are memory keepers stuff, which is really, really cool. Um, nice to have it all in one spot and obviously a lot of different options here. Trimmers, I'm an American Crafts trimmer down there as well. Uh, punch boards, crocodiles, and really good stuff here. So after a few more errands, I finally made it home. I am exhausted for some reason, but I want to show you guys what I got. Um, I got a couple gifts, um, so I'm not going to be showing you all of those, but I did get this gift that I thought was really cool, and they were on clearance. So these are animal zebra face masks, and there's four in here, and I think these ended up being around $1.50 for all of them. Um, and essentially, you'll look like a zebra once you have one on, but these are exfoliating with Himalayan pink salt. So you just put it on and soak it in and that's it. But I thought it'd be really, really cute to give these as gifts. And what's nice about something like this is they're actually individually wrapped. So I could give these to different people. Do you know what I mean? Like that'd be fun. But, or you can give them as a set to a group of people. Really, really cute though. They're by the brand Spa Therapy, which I've never heard of. Hopefully they're good. Um, I did go ahead and buy these. I thought these were really, really, really pretty. These are the... Zella Teal Rubber Shapes from Prima. It looks like they have rubber shapes for a couple other of their lines. This is 2017. They are so, so pretty. Now, I would normally put not pay $250 for these. I just thought, I did see these in someone else's vlog. 
and these are just this is one of my favorite color schemes right now navies won my heart over and i had to have these um, I, bought, I did end up buying these. I thought they were just so cute. These are the Merry Days by Crate Paper Puffy Stickers. I've really been into dimensional pieces lately, so these had to come home with me as well. This was a random find, but I thought it was such a good deal. Now, this is Becky Higgins Project Life Inked Rose Collection. $1.50. It is from 2014. And you can't even see all of them, but... Here's what the back looks like before we go to the front. Essentially it is little pieces, you have die cuts, you have frames, you have squares, and I love 4x4. Four four. Um, it's one of my favorite sizes. Not that I have a lot of page protectors that can hold 4x4s, four four, but obviously a 4x4 four four can fit in a 4x6. So you get a bunch of these, which they call die cuts, I think. It says includes die cuts um, because some of them have cutouts. Um, and then you have some examples of some of the frames. So let's see, these are um, cut through. And there's some on the back side as well. Again, it's hard to see. And then a little bit backwards. Um, and then you have this here. So again, frames and then non-frames. And I just thought that was a really, really, really good deal. $1.50 for 100 pieces. I'll take it. And again, 4x4 is one of my favorite sizes, especially when cutting down my photo. So if I can cut it down a photo to 3x4 and then around the edges, I could put these as layers under it. So really happy about that find and again these are from 2014 so that's pretty unexpected i did go ahead and buy these so this was the most expensive thing i bought these were the tonic studios let's see what they call them hexagon layering basics die set largest die is 4.4 inches by 3.75 inches and it contains 10 so 10 dies for five dollars um and you know these layering sets can get really really expensive really quick so and that's pretty much the largest size. It was like similar to what it was on the front. And if you guys know me, I love using these kind of stacking dies to make shaker cards and shakers for my pages. So it was really, really exciting. Um, you know how everyone does like those hexagon challenges? I only have one hexagon punch and it's like maybe an inch, probably less. So this would really help with that. Um, it does go very small too, which I really, really love. So we'll have to see how these work. It looks like, I don't know how to open these, okay. It's got this, I'm a craft superstar. How do you get this part off? I've never had Tonic Studio. So you see there's this um, star on the front and then it has like a secure closure on the back. I do not know how to open these. I just pull it, oh, it's just a snap. You just pull it. I'm gonna take them off. So they just snap together, that's cool. Let's take this out and see what it's like. I'm intrigued. Again, I've never had Tonic Studios before. They're pro How do you get your fingers in here? Is it attached? Oh, it was attached to the paper. Okay. So it looks like... Okay, so they're not attached to each other. So they're pre-cut, essentially. But they are on some foam. So here you can see the front. You can see me through it, but... Um, there's a little foam on the back that keeps them all in place. Interesting. That's a good idea. Right now I keep my metal dies in either the packaging they came in or on a metal sheet if they came in poor packaging or the packaging got ruined. And by metal sheet, I mean a magnetic sheet. Did I say metal sheet? I have some of those magnetic vent covers that I bought. Um, but I'm really, really excited to try these out. Maybe I'll get to use these on some of my Christmas cards that I've planned. Uh, I just set it down and it picked up half the stamped images for my project. That's what we call static. Whoa. Okay. Then the last thing that I purchased was this set. I just thought it was such a good deal. Um, $1.99 for bold alphabets. Now they are all craft, but if you guys know me, I love craft. So there is the label right there. If you guys don't know, Tuesday morning has a phone number you can call um, to see if they have a certain product in stock and you tell them this number or type in the system, that number. Um, but there's lowercase and capitals and numbers. And these will last me a very, very long time. But if you guys know me, craft's my thing. Always has been, really always has been. It was one of my favorite things to work with when I was younger as well and crafty. So um, that's it for now. I don't think I'm gonna do any crafting right now. Although if I show you guys my desk, it's a mess. There we go, it's a mess. It's a mess. 
it's a mess but newly organized sticker section over there looking good um i do have a bunch of stuff on the floor as well wow don't look at my candy that i bought <laughs> this i don't know this is freshly organized as well from when i did my kill a kit video i have mess over there oh dear lots of mess i don't have tuesday's video ready yet um maybe i'll just plan that out but i was working on some christmas cards earlier this weekend there's this little guy here who needs a sentiment but i really love that one and then there's this one oh so cute um but i'm working on those i need to put these layouts away and by away i mean just back in the pile they were in lots to do in the craft room right now i think i'm gonna go relax have a snack and maybe take a nap <laughs> i could use a nap right now um, but i will catch up with you guys later to see how the rest of the night goes Well guys, it's almost 10.30 now and we are headed to bed. I hope you enjoyed day one of Vlogmas. It was a pretty relaxing night. We watched Star Wars Episode 1. We played a couple board games and my contacts are really dry so I need to go take them out. But I hope you enjoyed going to Tuesday morning with me, seeing my little bit of a haul. Um, but tomorrow the real fun begins, the first day of work that will be part of Vlogmas. But I hope you guys enjoyed and if you did be sure to give it a thumbs up and subscribe if you want more Vlogmas and other scrapbooking videos, but thank you guys so much for watching, and I'll see you guys tomorrow. Bye!